Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today we will have a general reading, but I do post new readings on Friday. Then again on Monday, Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So let us begin here. What advice do you have for Libra, please? What messages does Libra need for the best and highest good of all involved with Libra? There we go. All right, I'll lay out the tarot here. We are going to pull a Moonology. What in the world is going on? This is getting crazy. Moonology Manifestation Oracle card. These have already been shuffled for the sake of time. I like that one. All right, you've got the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, state of mind with lovers. Good news is on the way. The Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Hermit, the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Magician. I like this a lot. You have here four Major Arcana. So half the reading, that's significant when we only have eight cards. Major Arcana, Mysteries or Secrets. It comes from the Latin word, Arcanum. So I feel like the mysteries are secrets to life, especially with this combo. You got one and two here. The high priestess can represent the subconscious mind and it also is the card of the psychic. She's also the card of the virgin too. Um, however that relates to you. But with the magician, okay, the magician tells us that we can create our own reality using our mind. But how we do that is by influencing our feelings, which is the High Priestess, okay? It's that energy of analysis. She's depth. And so where the magician is excitement and it's magic and it's even fake it till you make it, you know, that feeling of motivation. The High Priestess kind of does all the behind the scenes work. I want to say the heavy lifting. But the High Priestess also tells us that you have a new cycle coming in, a new cycle that's going to bring in more. And you notice how the gown turns to water. It's this gown is turning to water because she's in flow. So I'll tell you what, with this, you definitely have better days ahead. You also have the sun in the card of the lovers. There are very few cards that feature the sun and it always indicates finding a match. So if it's a love story and you've been single for a while or celibate or whatever you want to say there, I do feel like you have somebody coming in who will love you like no other. But I will also tell you with a job, you have nice aspects for money and branching out or moving, especially for moving. And it feels like heaven. It feels like it's exactly the right move for you to make. So we're going to get back here to this uh, Moonology card before we get too far into this. You've got New Moon and Scorpio. Go deeper. So if it's a relationship that you're asking about, it may be time to take it to the next level. But I also feel like this has to do with you and you. All right, it's that energy. I mean, really, the issues that we have in our lives are never about us and other people. It's us and us, we and we, uh, you know, or you and you, like I said. And so with that, it may be about really getting down into, you know, the, the core level of who you are and what is it that you want and knowing that it's available, not talking yourself out. I heard not defeating yourself. So with this energy here, it's all about really finding that search for deeper meaning, the hero's journey, as we like to call it in the tarot. Well, you have better times ahead here for sure. And I definitely feel like you have a delivery coming in in terms of money with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, if you're in a situation where you're looking to sell some things, whether it's on consignment or marketplace or something like that, I do feel like, okay, that's on the mundane level, but I do feel like it brings in happiness. It brings in a little extra money that may get parlayed into a vacation. I get that too. Or if you're, if you are looking to buy a house, I feel like somebody here may start to nest a little bit, like you're getting rid of things that you don't need and go, saying, well, this will be good. I'll just keep this money until I'm, until I'm actually moved and then see what I need for the new place. So anything that you decide that you don't need anymore, you're going to be happy about it. You won't regret it. There's no seller's remorse here. This is the happy family card, though. And so it is a card of celebration and a card of pure joy. Really moving forward in a way where it's like this is saying we did it. That rainbow after the storm is very fortuitous of fortunate times ahead. 
So I feel like if you are single, you're going to meet somebody. And if you're putting yourself online, you don't have a lot of cards that indicate online, but I will say if that's the case, because I do get it that way, you are going to meet a match. And with the lover's card, it is undeniable. This is the kind of relationship that is a real turning point. Something where you're going to feel like you never knew love before. It's one of those where there's depth. This is the right relationship inside and out. And so the Archangel Raphael here, the matchmaker of the tarot, is guiding you together. You're manifesting each other. Now with the lovers, it does represent a card. It's a card of choices. But with the choices, these are wonderful. The outcomes are positive. There's no downside to the lovers. It's not a choice that's going to bring you doom. It's a choice that brings relief, that brings light, that brings love. Now, the Archangel Raphael also looks out for travelers. I mentioned briefly, if you are coming into a little bit of walking around money, you might find that you'll do better if you save it. Even if you say, I'm not planning anything right now, I feel like it's going to come in handy later. And so with this lover's energy, you've got, this is a card of success, really. It is a, it's a card of harmony and attraction. And so I feel like with this, it's also a card of discrimination. And I mean that in the sense of you make choices. You make choices with discrimination. So they're for the best and highest good. That doesn't mean like implicit bias. It's not that kind of a discrimination. Okay. So the queen of pentacles, <clears throat> we love her. Now, did I mention you have Gemini, Virgo, Earth, Fire, Water here? And you have actually all the elements with the Magician. The Queen of Pentacles likes things perfectly done. She is a task master. And it also, too, with this, if you're attracting a Virgo or you work with a Virgo who you might tell to lighten up occasionally because of that, you're the voice of reason. You bring in balance. That's why other people can work with you so easily. You're one of the signs that people find very easy to work with. And so with the Queen of Pentacles here, it, it's about abundance. So in terms of a job opportunity, you have a turning point here. If you are thinking about moving, I feel like it's time to start researching the job market where you're looking to move because you will have job offers. There's no doubt about it. And if you go on a vacation and visit an area that you're thinking about moving to, I also feel like they're going to tell you that you'll have job offers there. Like, or they'll even say, we got a job for you today. That sort of thing. This is a harvest card. She spins straw to gold. So it's a card where your ideas, your thoughts turn to things easily. So don't be shy, okay? If you have a great idea. Now, you might not want to tell everybody with the high priestess and the magician here because they tend to tell you to keep your good ideas to yourself. But there's information here. So you may find that you bring in the good ideas and you might ponder them for a while. You may just do the research. This is a card of wonderful potential, but it's also a card of, of an analyzing, okay? It's a card of reflection and looking at things first. And so with this, you might find you have a period of inaction. You have it with the hermit too, and you have them right together, but that's not a bad thing. It's really, I feel, giving time time. It's allowing yourself an opportunity to look through everything thoroughly, then take that leap of faith. And if you are single, I'll tell you what, this is not desperate, needy energy. And so it's a card of solitude. She likes to work by herself. She's very much also about being true to herself. She's a woman, okay, who masquerades as a man to become a priest. And the moral to it is to be true to thine own self, be true. So I do feel like with this, it's about also, like I said, the discrimination. You won't get involved in something that's not a match and you'll feel it right away. So trust your instincts with that. So the energy of the hermit is also a card of success and wisdom. It's better times ahead. It's coming through the, the other side of something though. So again, if you've had a period where you felt a bit reclusive and you're like, I really, it's time for me to get out there again. I feel like you may have had a complicated period, but this is also a card of mentors and teachers that will help you solidify your plans. They're going to help you know what to do. You know, so it's it's going inward, yes, and you might crave a bit of alone time, like I said, but I feel like you're coming out of that and saying, okay, enough of the alone time, enough of the kundalini, I mean, I'm saying it wrong, rising. Um, anyway, it's it's being called to the deeper path, but that seeking time, I feel, is is you're coming out of it. It's coming to an end. 
So with that, it's seeking to find people too who shine their light. Okay, that's what that's about. Attracting people who are the right people. So your discrimination is a positive thing here where it's all about the right people. Well, okay, the three of pentacles here is collaboration, teamwork, but it is a new opportunity. I'm telling you what, do your research. And those opportunities are looking for you, Libra. It's not just a one way, especially with the card of the high priestess. That's a card of duality. So I definitely feel like you're attracting a match, no doubt about it. Now, if you are in a relationship, I feel like this is a turning point card where it's going to turn into living together, possibly looking to move away together. And you might surprise the heck out of everybody. But I feel like it's such a good match that it will be exciting. It'll feel like home right away. There won't be any homesickness. There's no sadness there. And with the two of wands, this again is a card I heard of plotting and scheming. But I don't feel like it's anything nefarious. I feel like that's kind of in a, almost in jest. You know, and, and sometimes we say, I know some people, they always have a scheme, but it's funny. They're not trying to hurt anybody. It's like they've always got some idea. So you might be also attracting somebody who's a bit of a dreamer. And I feel like with that, though, you're going to like that about them. They're always kind of looking and their mind is open. Their heart is open. They're going to be very easy to love. And they're also going to return love just as easily. So with the magician, what do you want? Because it's yours for the taking. The magician, you bring heaven to earth. So get ready. You start finding loose bits of money. You seem to have strides of luck where it just seems like everything's turning in your favor. The magician will do that for you. So use your attention, use your focus. So I feel like with this, you if you're single, you have an unexpected encounter coming, but you've called it forth. This is know thyself and so is this. So that search for deeper meaning is important here. That know thyself energy is very important. Doing things on your own terms, Libra. All right, let's see what else you have here from the angels. <clears throat> what else does Libra need to know, please? Advice, please, for Libra. Improving health, but mind, body, spirit, it's all coming together. You've got helpful people showing up. I mentioned that earlier. I do feel like you have somebody here who might give you a nudge or some advice. Well, you've got romance. When I shortchange the love portion, I feel like they almost always back it up with that. And you've got within the next few weeks, because that romance card hardly comes out. All right, and you have a yes. All right, good things are on the way, Libra. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.